Hey everybody, it's Fish Lord Chouster here again with uh, another campaign. We're going to be playing as the Dwarves of Erluin. These guys are right over here. Dwarves of the Blue Mountains. Since the Variants of Khan campaign over here is just going, it's it's not working. The uh, game just keeps crashing every time Mordor takes a turn. And since I can't see what's going on in Mordor, yeah, I think it's just crashing whenever one of the Witch Kings responds or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be quiet for a second. And you guys can read this stuff. All right. So what we got? We got we got kind of a similar roster for between the uh, Dwarves of Blue Mountains and Dwarves of Air War and the Iron Hills. Just a bit different. We don't really have crossbows, but either way, we set to very hard and very hard difficulty. And we're gonna go. gonna just play this I guess from the beginning part it's pretty cool so yeah this is what the things look like stuff Alright. Yeah, I don't think that's copyright. I think that's made just for the game. But if it was, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool opening. But yeah, we're doing the Dwarves of the Blue Mountains. They're remote starting location. It's going to make it difficult for like getting into the action of like any of like, the big stuff. But I think it's also a really good starting point. Because it's kind of like you can play as like an actual Dwarven Kingdom and not have to be up against the wall against, you know, Rune and Mordor and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can kind of create your own kingdom type of thing. In my opinion, like a really cool Dwarvish kingdom where you got, you know, the mountains and you got stuff to expand out into. And yeah. Another problem with them is that they have a lack of cavalry, I think, from what I started playing is they don't have that much cav, like, at all. They don't, like, unlike like the dwarves of the, what are they called? The, the, the Lonely Mountain. They have, like, Dale Cav they can hire, but Blue Mountains, they don't really have any. Alright. So, here we go. Blue Mountains, Thorns Falls. Alright, let's... What did I build first? Um, building income... Mongers, grant exchanges. Gotta be worried. Gotta gotta get that money. Uh, mines. No, let's see what. Brewery, pig farm, grant exchange. And this is a castle. I built a port. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really help in hindsight. So we're not gonna worry about that port. We're gonna we're gonna build a pipe hall. Oh wait, no practice range. Here we go. Get them units up and stuff. And what we got here, diplomat. 
We're going to send him down south a ways. And the king and Lord Gore. We're going to hire a bunch of stuff. We're going to hire a spy right there. And some warriors. I can't hire anything here. Can hire stuff here, though. Alright. I'm going to take everything that's not being used and move them. We're going to have them go this way, down to the south. We're going to nab up everything we can before the elves of Lindon do. Uh, have you go this way. Watchtowers. Need the watchtowers. Alright. Losing money? I'm going to make it back. Eventually. Hmm. Yep. The Vale of Dorwinian. That was another um, faction I was thinking about doing it, but I was like, yeah, you know, they don't really have that cool roster in hindsight, whereas the dwarves are pretty darn cool, in my opinion. The dwarves are one of my favorite races of all the players. I mean, you know, I'm probably going to put, maybe, we'll have to see, but I'm feeling that the dwarves of the Blue Mountains are going to be in my like top five factions or something, or at least top ten at the, you know, they're going to be up there. Dwarves are really cool in my opinion. I like them. All hardy and stout and friendships and stuff and a little trust, but they're very loyal. Kind of mean, I think, in a way. Let's see. Get the spy. Alright. Now, when I played this before, there's something... There it is. Alright, and so we're gonna need... We're gonna need warriors. <coughs> I have them set up as a rally point right there. We'll have him rally it over there. Have him go here. The watchtower. Kind of rally up over there. We still can't recruit anything here, but we're getting the grain exchange, which is important. Alright, uh, let's see. I don't know. You come down too. And. Let's see. Thorns Halls. Let's see what we got in the city. Let's see what this says. Blue Mountains, also known as Erlunis, the mountain range far west area or during the war. Huh. Very cool. Was this ballista? Oh, we have ballista towers. Very nice. And John Hall is cut in the Blue Mountains by the dwarves and the leadership of Thrain and Thorin. Oh. Huh. The crest, press of stairs. Very cool. Town guard, brewery, in pig farm, mines, roads. All right. Let's see what you got. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, madness. All right. What do you got here? Oh, same thing. All right. Uh, all right. Next turn. Man, I love that whole thing right there with the, the noise changing turns. Man, it's great. Very, very good. Very well done. Very, very well composed by who composed it. Very good for, like, this whole campaign thing setting, too, with the dwarves and stuff. Erlun Forgers. They're terrible. They're really bad. They're more of a garrison unit of anything else. They, um, they're bad. Compared to the other units. I could go here, but it's like all I can do. Alright, um. Tavern? Tavern. Let's see, it's town. Pig farm. Or brewery. Pig farm. Oh, we get rid of that corruption. Ironmongers. Get some. Some of that chain mail. I probably put a watchtower here too. No, it wasn't. No, shut up. Let's see. Oh, Mary get archers. Very good. Dwarven orc hunters. Yes, design a tool for hunting game. Throwing axe. Oh, they're the throwing axes. 
Sweet. I don't think I have really good defense, too. Holy cow. Okay. Next turn, we'll go there. Wait, well, who's being trained? Guardians of Pilgrim. Uh, who? Huh. Okay. Still losing money. I'm working on it. Oh, I didn't actually want you to look at him. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to grab stuff before the elves and then Dunedain do, so that way we can actually get a foothold and expand and not get boxed in by them and have to, like, declare war on them or something. That would be awkward. Alright. You, bud, can go right there. You can go. You can go right there. You can go there. I think I Rohan are at war again. Who would have thought? Get you to go here. And you to go here. And, uh, Let's see. What do I say? Construction complete. Ironmongers. Very nice. Alright, what can we do for... Uh, I think we'll do that. Get rid of that corruption. Alright. Let's do... Let's battle it out. It's time. Oh yeah. We got this. We got this! <sighs> it sounds different without the music. Sorry, guys. Get the mod. It's really good. It's a good mod. Especially since version 1 is out now. So, do it. Just do it. Hmm. Fog. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna have to be we're gonna be walking. Men. <clears throat> See. Look at all that rain. Oh boy, but yeah, we're gonna have this handled pretty easily. It's not gonna take a long time. I mean, it'll be difficult for us. Dwarves are awesome. All right, it's time to run. Doing our land. It's still down. Oh, there goes the jabbies. Yeah, clam wood. Oh, they're fine.
sandwich. Really cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's pick up the pace here. There we go. Alright, come back around. We'll end it there. We got it. We got it. Alright. Do do do. Corsairs of Umba, men shouted. The Corsairs are upon us. It is the last stroke of doom. Battle of the Pelennor Fields. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. There goes that. Camp sacked. Very nice. Right, we'll have him go besiege there. Gonna have you check the south, see if anybody's coming up. Nope. This looks pretty good there. You. We're gonna have you go. Should be getting a thing to. Oh, look at that. Great heavens. Oh, copyright music, probably. Alright, uh, next turn will be Siege. Next turn. <sighs> yeah, I picked this faction over the. Uh, dwarves of the Lonely Mountain and stuff because they just take forever to get started. I mean, really, it's very... It takes like 20 turns for them to get anywhere or do anything. So, you know, we're going here. Plus, I like... I think I might like these guys a bit more. We'll see. We'll have to see. Alright. The mini map right there. Uh, assert your authority. Okay. Rebels. What? Oh. That's going to take me a long time to get to. Unless we start recruiting. Oh, Jesus. It's not going to happen. Kubit. Why can't you do for that settlement down here, bro? We'll have you go back up in there. Nah, I missed it. Oh, well. Take the siege. No more getting there. Not much in there. Should be a pretty easy grab up, but we'll have to get it next time. Thank you guys for stopping by. See you next time.